Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get Twixter on After Effects in under three minutes. So what you want to go ahead and do right now is do Control Alt T, your clip. And every single time you see a movement in the clip, you want to go ahead and mark it as a keyframe. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Now that you're done keyframing every movement in your clip, now you want to go ahead and grab all the keyframes and pull them together. Now that you have pulled all your keyframes together, now what you would do is pre-compose your clip, check the circle, do not check the box and press OK. Now what you want to do is go ahead and type in Twixter. Bro, not Twixter. I'm going to import that in. And you want to go ahead and copy my settings. And now here comes the part where some people would do, some people won't. So you want to go to one frame back and you want to keyframe a hundred percent. You want to go one frame forward and put it to 30. You can put it to 30, 50, 70, doesn't matter it's to your own personal preference. And now what you want to go ahead and do is pre-compose, do not check the box and press OK. Now what you want to go ahead and do is press Control Alt T. So you already have a keyframe there. So you want to go ahead and probably go like right here and press keyframe. And what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and cut the clip. And now you want to go ahead and drag, actually put the keyframe before um, the end of the clip. And what now you want to do is press control and just drag your mouse all the way until there's no more movement in the clip. As you can see, the movement stops right here. So I want to go ahead a little bit forward right there. So now you want to keyframe it, easy ease them. You can also press F9. And what we're going to do here is drag them down. Now for here. But if you want your clip to be even smoother, you go, go ahead and add an artist in B, which is really good. You can put it to 100%. Usually I usually put it at one, but uh, it's to your personal preference. So I keep it at 0 0.7. And you go ahead and render that out. And that's how you get Twixter. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you want more tutorials, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or edit.